and bingo hell, a group of badass elders led by the fearless Lupita refuse to be gentrified in their barrio in Oak Springs. Lupita is trying her hardest to keep the community together, but the nefarious Mr. Big threatens this as he turns their bingo hall into a bingo hell. The film is now available to stream on Amazon Prime Video as part of this year's Welcome to Blumhouse lineup. This interview is part of my continued coverage of the of the film for my podcast, The Film Craziest Show. For this interview on The Film Craziest Show, I was able to speak with Adriana Barraza, who plays Lupita in the film. Let's get right into that conversation with Adriana. Hi, Adriana. How's it going? Fine, thank you. And you? Good. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Cool. I, I'd love to start with just, um, it's a film about you're in, an, in the older generation and you're able to kick ass. So what did it mean for you being in a film like this where you were able to do that? <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, it's a lot. The meaning of this is because it's a great, great opportunity to uh, show at everybody that older people is really cool. Older people has... Uh, to do every kind of things and action is not only for young people, all the people too. <laughs> Great. Thank now, you. Bien chingona. Thank you. <laughs> I was talking to Gigi and she was telling me that you had a little bit too much fun with the shotgun. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Really. I, I really love Gigi since the beginning. And uh, when Gigi um, showed me the script and talked uh, talk to me about that, I, I appreciate it a lot because when I discovered Lupita and the amazing story and a and, and, and new Gigi, Gigi with this uh, energy, uh, this chingona way of life, oh, you know, it was amazing. Uh, we're laughing a lot, but we work really hard to try to do this amazing story. Okay. Can you, can you talk to playing the character of Lupita and just how she's the glue of this community? Well, Lupita is, I think, well, you know, maybe I, 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 I will talk about sad things. For example, Lupita doesn't have children, doesn't have family. And then maybe at that age, the family, the, the, the people who loves uh, older people is their community, his her community in this case, or his friends, especially his neighborhood. Then uh, I think uh, uh, this um, courage uh, Lupita has is because of that, because nobody will touch my family, you know? Okay. And I, I love that because the film is very much like about family and at its core. So what, what are you hoping people get from this film? Well, first of all, to think not only about the Latinx people, because um, it's really strange that a Latinx <laughs> actress is leading a movie, a horror movie especially. Uh, but I, I hope that the audience can see in this beautiful movie, because it's beautiful for me, uh, that uh, the older people is really necessary for everybody. This is the first one. And maybe if you want to talk with your grandparents or with older people, maybe you discover a fantastic world. Because we have a lot of story, we have a lot of, a lot of experience. And maybe we think, oh my God, older people is boring. Older people is only knitting uh, sweaters or making food or cookies for the grand grandchildren. No, not 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 only that. I hope, really, I hope that at the end you will call your your grandparents and say, oh my God, grandparents, you are cool too. That's great, because as you were talking about that, I was just thinking in my head that I need to call my grandpa to talk about football from last week. <laughs> very good. Very good. Now, it's about that. I found you very approachable, very believable as Lapita. So what's it kind of like getting to that kind heart and heartness of the character and just being so open to everyone? Well, you know, uh, as an actress, as an actor, 
you have to be you have to be open for everything open with the with the script first of all open with the director because the director talk um bring um, bring your hand and walk in a beautiful beautiful path if you if you are uh, are open to um and then i discover in the script this amazing clues and this amazing uh, opportunity to to be the life behind <clears throat> the character and in me for me this movie uh, gave me the opportunity to remember how how strange how como se dice fuerte how strong i am okay. because my my whole life i am a strong woman not only a strong woman in my in my soul a strong woman with my with my my whole body and you know i said it all the, the all the time gigi oh thank you gigi because i for i i, I forget that i'm strong and now i remember i can do everything not only in my soul in with my body too this is oh, the reason great she can help you like find that strength again which you you definitely needed for the good versus evil battle with mr big right yes yes oh. of course yes in both senses body and soul yes of course okay what well, what was it like uh, collaborating mm -hmm. with miss or with richard break <gasps> Oh my God, I admire Richard, not only, well, Game of Thrones on every kind of movies that I saw, saw him. Um, the first thing that when I saw him, I think, oh my God, this is Richard Break. He's a tall, tall guy, so thin and so lovely. And first of all, I was talking about uh, England and <clears throat> the places, and then talking about uh, his work, and then enjoy to make together this horrible relationship, but relationship at last, between Lupita and Mr. Big, you know? And I saw Richard to make amazing things it's a great great actor <laughs> suddenly i remember we was fighting i don't want to be to have a spoil but we was we were we was fighting and then caught and he said oh my god i'm tired and i say i'm tired too but again yes of course it, it oh. to work with richard was amazing oh that's so <clears> fun I'd also love to ask, did you prefer like shooting a film like the finale scene or did you prefer shooting like a horror film like or a horror scene, sorry, like uh, that moment when you're just alone in your house kind of <clears> tormented <throat> by the bingo balls? It's a different um, um, enjoy. It's a different jo joyful because um, I, I, I think every kind of actors enjoy everything. Uh, in my home, obviously, it, it was me only, the crew, Gigi, and, and some effects. But I really like, you know, I really, really like action. This, the action scenes, oh my God. <laughs> it was like, a, I don't know, I feel in like a Rambo, like a something like that, you know? And it was fantastic. You know, I, 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 I took a photo by myself uh, with a lot of things. Uh, and I, I, I sent my daughter and my grandson. I my daughter say, oh, mama, I love this photo. I want to say, hey, everybody, this is my mama. Esta es mi mama. You know, and my grandson, oh my God, he loves me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great to hear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd also love to ask just, uh, like I, I know you were in Drag Me to Hell and in this film. So I'm just curious, what, what do you look for in a horror film to, to sign on to it? Well, Drag Me to Hell was, was my first movie, horror movie here 
in the there in the United States okay. with Sam Remy, my God, Sam Remy, and the the thing that I'm looking for is uh, through my acting. I try to to looking for all the time to be truly to be real because I think <clears throat> if I if I am scared. <clears throat> is the only way that the audience feels scared. But not only that, because the character um, um, in my point of view has to be multidimensional. It's not only uh, good and bad, it's a human being. All the time I'm looking for, not a character, that's it, that, that, that all, I'm looking for human being with every kind of, um, feelings and contradictions this is the the thing that i'm looking for okay and the script definitely has that <clears throat> yes i i think i think yeah what, what did it mean for you to be a part of welcome to blumhouse <laughs> well i am a good good uh audience uh, for horror movie no no not only horror movie um I have a, a huge uh, library in Mexico uh, of, of um, horror and science fiction books. Then, since I was a little girl, I really like this kind of strange stories. Then I saw a lot of movies from Bloom House, and I obviously am saw a lot of movies in Amazon Prime Video. Um, and then, when Gigi told me it was, it will be this movie for, for Bloom House, I feel very proud because it's a great, great uh, production house. And then Amazon Prime Video, well, it's a mix. It's an amazing mix it's because it's a good, good label mix. Then uh, I saw a lot of movies in, in Amazon from Bloom House. And you know, uh, <laughs> I never dream that I will be in the future in a movie and in, a, in, in this movie, especially uh, leading a uh, um, horror movie for Bloom House. I'm proud about that and grateful. And yeah, like what you were saying earlier, it's so it's so cool to see you be able to, to lead a film like this. Yes. And it's not common because I am Latinx woman. I am I am 65. And then, well, I'm woman. <laughs> and in a horror movie as a leader, oh my God, it's a great, great present for me because this um this year. Uh, actually, this the last uh, Sunday, I I I was celebrating my my fifty years as an actress. It's fantastic for me. Oh, great! Yeah. Happy yeah. and happy anniversary. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure that was my time. So I just wanted to thank you, Adriana, for coming on and and speaking with me about uh, Bingo Hell. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for our conversation. Oh, my, my pleasure. It was great meeting you.